Well, Immaculate, you also, uh, I believe, the 2004 Scribble Jam battle, the MC battle. Now, that's that's a pretty high honor. That's really some of the most elite MCs in independent and commercial music have been in that battle and have walked away with, with the crown. Since that time, you know, how has your career changed? How have you changed as an MC? Um, what's been different since you won that battle? I mean, basically, um, a lot more doors open, a lot more opportunities. I've had a lot more opportunities to travel, you know what I mean, and um, be part of shows and stuff like that, and just connect and network with artists. So it's really helped in the, um, the notoriety type of sense where uh, – or recognizability, you know what I mean? Like, to where I have a rapport with other artists, you know what I mean? And um, have something to kind of boast or brag about or have on my uh, press kit. But um, other since then, you know, the world, what's kept that going, that buzz from 2004, like, battles like Spin the Mic also in 2006, or like the World Rap Championship me, when me and the source, who also won Scribble Jam this year, or 2006, MC Battle. So I guess that brings me to my next question, which is, same people, I mean, you guys consist of 10 artists, whether it be MCs, producers, DJs. Did you guys, I mean, what's the purpose behind forming Sam people? I mean, obviously, let's be honest, it's tough to make money with a 10-person group when you got to divide the money 10 ways. What were your, your thoughts on creating the group? What do you hope to accomplish with the Sam people? And, um, you know... What what can we expect from the Sand People? Is it just like a jump off for some solo shit? Is it are you guys trying to really make a movement? Like what what's the deal here? Man, it, it really is both of the last two things you said is uh is we're trying to basically have like a strength in numbers kind of approach where where we just create something that, you know, we just get ten ten MCs or nine MCs uh on, on a track or on on tracks or albums and just uh just really utilize the fact that that's kind of a unique thing still, you know, or it's not, not something you hear every day. It's not your, your average, you know, standard two person group or solo project. But, uh, also within that, what we've done is subdivided down and, uh, created little spinoffs, you know, like little groups. Like I'm in a group called the baser with another MC, uh, and producer sapient, you know, he's in clockwork with another rapper. I am me, you know, he does his solo thing. And like, We've taken the 10, but then we've also broken them down. So as far as, like, getting money, like, what that'll do is springboard for the groups, you know? Like, it'll be, we'll be able to take that umbrella of sand people with us and uh, and help that hopefully catapult what we're trying to do on a more subdivided level. Um, really, when we came together, it was just, you know, there's a lot of people doing stuff up in Portland. You know, we kind of just started noticing some people that were catching our, our eye and our attention and just sort of started... <laughs> yeah this handsome fellow and uh and, and it, we just like all came together we we're all like like-minded you know real laid back kind of trying to do our thing seriously too you know it's like we all got our day jobs but but this is really what we're doing it's not just people that are that are having fun it's like you know it's a passion but it, we're trying to make it legitimate you know we're trying to get our name out there make sure y'all heard of us you know pretty soon and go, come looking for us so so yeah, when we came together, it was to be be more tight knit and to have like an umbrella that we could then spin off and hopefully use, you know, to our benefit, like a collective effort that then helps a, you know, a more subdivided or more individual purpose eventually. And that's what it is. Sandpeopleundergroundhiphop.com.